Hey, young people, finally got my ladder. Damn, that's a big ass long ladder. <laughs> dude at the store was like, just lean it on top of your roof. It'll be all right. It won't hurt. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? I'm not trashing my freaking truck. He's like, well, I don't think you should lean it up that far. So what the hell? I strapped it down as best I could. Put a strap here. Pretty stinking tight. Put a strap through there. Wrapped it around. And uh, had my little red ribbon. <laughs> That is pretty long. <laughs> I was getting some funky looks going down the highway. Yeah, they'll get over it. Hi, buddy. Dad's got a new ladder. He can climb up and scare you. Horses don't like things that are tall. I know. Dad's going to get to scare you with his new ladder. So hopefully I can get up there as soon as we get some good weather and see what the hell I got going on. And uh, without falling off. Now's the chore to get that sucker out. That's a heavy ass ladder, man. I don't know how much that sucker weighs, but there was three of us putting it in. And I was like, damn, that's gonna be tough me getting it out. All right, we'll see how this goes. Hey, gun people. Well, my ladder came in. I got a, uh, I'll slide in a picture of the ladder when I was bringing it home in a truck. I know I had some firemen out there that were jealous and shit. They like, I want this big ladder in my truck. Why does he get to have a big ladder? We need to get a big ladder. Our ladder's bigger than yours, whatever. All kind of fireman ladder envy when I was driving home. So this is a 32 foot ladder. And I've got it posted up top there. And let me tell you, that's a little higher <laughs> when you get up there. <laughs> My boys kind of shriveled up when I got up there. I went down. You know, I don't mind jumping out of something when I'm secure and I know my equipment. But the first time I went up this ladder, it bows and bends. And you'll be able to see that. Let me move back. You'll be able to see that when I'm going up there. It kind of uh, kind of like bows in the middle a little bit. And I'm like, damn, is this ladder going to hold me? It says it's good for 300 pounds, but I'm just kind of like... So let me get a couple tips out of the way that... On what I did so far. So I put the golf cart here so the ladder can't slide out and I come tumbling down. So the golf cart will stop it. Also, the little flat prongs that they're on the bottom of the ladder, and normally on a flat surface, they sit like this. But if you turn them like this, they dig into the ground and they stop that creep. So I did that, but I still wasn't secure enough because that letter bows a lot. That's why I put the golf cart here. Then, because the damn thing's so tall and it's not real level, the ladder was going like this really easy when I was putting it up there. So I tied this with a trucker's hitch right here on this pole, and then I put on that pole. Now, these two things aren't probably the best. I was thinking about pulling my truck over here and tying it to the back of the truck. But it rained yesterday and the ground's all wet. So I didn't want to do that. So instead, I just, uh, I tied it to where I tie the horses off. Hell, they can pull on and exert all kind of force. They ain't pulled that off yet. So uh, I got like a little clove hitch slip over there. I put a trucker's hit here to tighten it up and then I had to ratchet on the other side and click that. Now that wood piece that's holding up the frame there is probably my weak point in a link. Because if it started falling toward me, it would probably just pull that pole out. So, you know, it's not swaying so much when I'm climbing on it. But when I was putting it up there, it was really going left and right. Because it's freaking heavy. So anytime you do something by yourself, you, you got to be a little bit more cautious. I'm not usually a safety sally if I got somebody here to call a hospital. <laughs> but since nobody's here, <laughs> and if I fall, I'm probably not going to be in the mood to call. I said, you know what, let me videotape it so maybe in my bitch warrior they can say what happened. So, uh, and that's that. And then I have a, halt, a harness on. Um, so I would like to be able to get the whole thing, but that damn thing is so freaking tall. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here. Because it's bowing right there. Uh, hell, I'd hate to have the camera up and then me fall off and not be able to get it on camera. That would suck. I mean, it's going to suck that I'm falling, but to fall and have the camera and not get it up. Alright, that should get the whole thing. So you probably won't hear me. I've got a, I've got a little paintbrush. I've got a little paintbrush 
This is a spray can of that rust oil and stuff. That you, it, it's a rust converter. I, it might be just black paint. I sprayed it on some rust over there. It's solid up pretty good, but I don't know if it's stopping rusting. I won't know for... But that screen up there where my smoke comes out is really rusty. And so instead of painting all this stuff in here and having it drip down, I'm going to spray this on a round thing. But they say the paint on rust converter is a little bit better. So I had a bucket of that with me too. I'm trying to climb up that ladder with all that crap was uh, I can't maintain my three points. So what do you think? Should I carry my phone in case I get, get stuck up top? Or, and, and I'll break when I fall, then I won't have a phone, or should I leave it on the ground? What do you think? I'm carrying it. See, I'm not planning on falling. I know I probably should, but I'm not. I'm planning on making it. Where the hell did I put my, uh, my brush? Okay, 30 minutes later, looking, I found it. Guess where it was? It's on the back of the damn golf cart right there at the bottom of the ladder where I didn't look till last. I found three other things I was looking for. Or I wasn't looking for. Anyway, so we're back to this. Uh, heading up to the roof. I was going to show you this rust remover. Uh, this is rust oleum. Instantly converts rust to a protected paintable surface. I think it says if you're going to use spray paint, wait four hours. If you're going to use oil-based paint, you can do it in 30 minutes or something. I read it on the back, but I'm going to put this up there. I may not paint it for, you know, I'm going to wait a good few hours. Anyway, it's just white clear. It says to put it in a bowl and then take a brush and do it. I'm bringing this up. I'm pouring it, and I'm painting it as I'm pouring it so I don't have to do the bowl. Because climbing up there, I want to maintain my three-point uh Climbing. When you're tying a ladder, you want to make three points of contact. So I want to have one hand and two feet and only have one hand moving, or two hands and have one foot moving. So somebody count the runs. I don't know how many how high I'm going. So I'm on run number two, three, four, five, six. So I don't want to be moving feet and hand because now I only have two points. Ideally, and as I get further, you're going to see this thing bow. I want two hands, one foot. Two hands, one foot. And I'll do that as I get closer because it makes these shriek in as I get higher. <laughs> Holy shit. But you see, this bowing right here just freaks me out. Again, I, don't, I haven't seen this ladder tested. I haven't had my points tested, so I don't know. Hey, I can see my house from here. So, ooh, doggies. I had tennis shoes on at first, and I noticed that was kind of a slippery, so I put something with a heel. And I already forgot to count. Damn, this is hot. I forgot to tell you, I had my, I've got my harness on just to kind of clip in at the top here in case I slip. I'll have, I don't even know if it'll hold me. I think if I slip and fall, my weight will pull me over anyway. That's where it gets a little spooky because the wind's up here and I don't have a whole lot of hanging on moving. Probably should have shook this downstairs. Which way's the wind going? Probably right in my damn face so I can't spray paint this. Eh, kind of that way maybe. Shit, I should have brought something up there to throw. My paintbrush. Some dumbass put a piece of. Uh, My bucket. I was wet. I know a couple of you guys were like, watch them drop some. Yeah, I know. I know how you guys are. Freaking get me up here trying to kill myself. All right. 
So I'm taking lids off and pouring and painting. I'm going to put that lid back in my pocket because I don't want that coming out. Oh, that shit's pretty thick. Wow. Man, that's really thick. And although it's rusty, it's not, I mean, there's a couple parts that I could probably sand, but I'm not going to sand. And you know what? I had two of those damn jars. I should have brought them both. Because it's, uh, but I want to get the, the really rusty part. And this is very white. Not to be racist, the stuff is white. So, oh shit, you know what? I forgot to clip in. See, that's why I needed a second safety guy here reminding me to clip in. Because I'm probably going to forget to clip out. See, if I fall off clipping in, I'll be able to blame all the safety sallies. Alright, so I'm flipped in. Man, I hate going up another run, but I think I got to. And I got nothing to hang on to. So this really puts my center of gravity high. And I'm reaching around the back here. This is supposed to turn black once it turns the rust to uh Oh shit, I meant to call my buddy and tell him to call me in 15 minutes in case I fail. Shit, blew that plan. Shit. Painting the other side's kind of a pain. See, this reaching over across my body is not good. I should be switching hands and staying center. It's, it's definitely turning black as it dries. Since I have a little bit left, I'm going to go ahead and paint this thing with the rest of this. Shit, what's this called? Dude, why are you hanging up on me? Freaking trying to get me killed. I'm still up on the ladder. Did you hear what I said? Okay, I didn't, I, the way we got disconnected, I didn't know if you did it. This white stuff that I'm painting on here, man, it looks pretty cool. I think it's going to work pretty good. Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. And as I'm painting it, man, it's like drying and it turns like a, like a smooth metal with no rust. It's pretty freaking amazing. all a gimmick. Wow. Man, this shit's going to 
to save me. Oh, is it? Oh, he just told me not to breathe it. It's got hydrochloric acid in it. That's a good tip, but I'm almost finished. I'm out in the open, though, so it's not... leaning. Shit, I should have took a picture of a before and after. guys are hearing anything. Alright, let me try to snap a couple pictures. No hands again. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Don't do this unless you're a trained government fireman. I got my firefighter hat certificate on. Right here I have two things and it makes my foot feel really secure. And I have one, two, three, four, five of two. When I hit this one, if you notice, I was a little slip because I was used to having two. And then when I got to that one, I had one and I went, shit. Sweep out of Denton. 
You guys go to their little Google, Firehouse Chimney and Sweep, and tell them they're up there trying to get me killed because they can't return a damn phone call. Anyway, I'll leave the ladder up, let that dry, read. I got another bottle of that inside. I'll read the instructions. Hopefully the wind dies down. My face probably looks all black, man. It was blowing right in my face. All that shit. So, uh, and we'll go ahead and end up there. It's kind of what it's looking like now. After that dries, I'll, I'll paint it. See how it holds up.